Okay. So, I decided to mix things up a little bit again because, you know, I can't stick with one team. I gotta mix it up, man. But I decided to get all the way back here because, you know, we have, like, a half a gate to try to open. A set of keys, something along those lines. The water path. Uh, we had the wind path in the last part, and that was pretty alright. We also got a titan, which I guess is also pretty alright. Uh, so yeah, I mixed up my team, exchanged some mirages, uh, got got a little bit of a, a switch going. Uh, you'll see what we got. Also, I gotta figure out what we got going on for mirages. Alrighty, let's go. Uh, we got was that trihydra and a bunch of bombs. Uh, I don't know if I have. Oh wait, okay, reduce the mirages health for the get hydra. Is that like? Uh, is that like the kaiju monster? I don't know. Not not the point. Uh, Ghidorah, that's the one. Uh, bombs. So use a fire attack. There you go. Uh, I have Tiamat. Billy Zane is Tiamat, essentially. Pretty legit. Uh, also, I got a question. As you can see, Bacon's also in my in my group of stacks or it's in my stack lineup uh, that's pretty cool uh, we got a better idea let's check what we got for that's gonna affect one person one person only see the bombs are floating it's not gonna work on them uh, you might think sure it will you only have to hope and pray and whatever no they're floating it doesn't work that's no good uh, Okay, that's cool. Nope, nope. Dang. I gotta do this the old school way. I guess I'll cut it. Hey. Well, that was a lot more long and drawn out than I needed it to be. My god. Billy Zane has so many mouths. It's insane. But he looks super epic, so I guess I can forgive that. Also, uh, the water path is pretty much the exact same layout. Uh, okay, maybe it's not that exact, but it's, it's pretty similar in appearance to the win layout, except it's blue and the crystal tower or whatever it's called. I don't really care. It's, it's so much crystal. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty crystalled out at this point. It's been how many parts and I'm still here? Oh, we got these things. Uh, and so now we're moving on. Now that everyone's healed up, everyone's all good to go. Uh, more rant. Oh, is that the way? No, that's pretty blocked off. Uh, so moving onward to progress, as you can probably guess, uh, we got two more fiends to contend with. Last time it was earth and wind, as far as I'm aware. This time it's probably going to be water and fire. Yeah, you didn't miss much. I was just going up against uh, Gehedra and uh, a bunch of bombs. Nothing new. That said, it looks like we're on the bottom floor. This is fan. Oh my god. We got an airman and uh, a squid thing. It has a bunch of tentacles. Is it Great Cthulhu? Nah. <laughs> uh, nah. Uh, that. That. Mike Wazowski looks epic. They look though really strong! But you know who's stronger? Us! Maybe! Well, I guess we're about to find out. Is this the keeper of the water lock? <laughs> you fools! These dark depths shall be your tomb! Tama, you okay? Oh, he just looked like he the wanted to say as much. That's all. What? Well, in that case, uh... What should I do? Should I save up my stars or should I spend them? Uh... Let's take care of Mike Wazowski real quick. Enough dealy dallying. Uh, I might as well use the Libra ability because, I mean, that's something that I got going on. Uh, I don't know why I'm in items. Keep mixing that up with abilities. Cracking and brew. Or something along those lines. Uh, Unimprisonable, but at the same time, it's got a bit of health and you get the memento. That's pretty legit. 
Uh, and obviously, you know, water's not going to work on it. But thunder. Go for it. Oh, man. He's trying to blind us uh, and poison us. <laughs> Terrible combination. I can't believe they would do this. Yeah, and just for that, you know what? Here, Here's my response to you, Mr. Kraken, because you're a dick. Uh, lightning Spellstone. Oh, it attacks both of them. Excellent. I'll use this to my advantage. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not going to be that difficult if you have the items for it. Anyways, uh, Mike Wazowski here. If we're to actually figure out what we got going on here in terms of elemental weaknesses, water. Pretty simple, water. Also, you get a memento so you can totally turn peepers into that, or whatever you have for a flying eyeball thing. Uh, cool. Anyways, so it's gonna use fire, the other one's gonna use water, and they're, I guess they have some sort of stas ability or something along those lines. Uh, for my money, uh, Rain needs a little bit of AP, and then I think I have my ultimate solution to all this. Uh, all that said, let me use another lightning spell soon. Because they seem to work pretty well. They seem to do a pretty good job. Oh, it's gonna use Reflect. Apparently it does have a brain, but that's okay, because there is one thing that doesn't need a brain, but sheer brute force. <laughs> you can't defeat me, I'm too good. I nullify damage in all forms. So straight up, I mean, if I was going to handle this like a man, I'll use the Grand Sword. Apparently a miss. That kind of sucks, but uh, time to kill the Kraken. Straight up. Man, you're missing a lot. What the heck is up with this Kraken? Also, you put Reflect on both of them. Uh, not that it matters, but you're a dick, Mr. Kraken. I like your rum. Your rum is fantastic, but you're still a dick. Evil mi- You're trying to poison me? You're- You're a- God- <sighs> It's alright. I'll deal with this on my own. Now I just gotta focus on Mike Wazowski. He's also a dick, but, uh... Almost dead. Nah, this ain't gonna be too bad. I mean, like, sure, I got poisoned, but it's dead. It's done. Victory! I win. Brute strength always wins. Force your way. It's all good, baby. Uh, man, that's a lot of stuff that I just got. Arma gems? Are there more interventions that I'm unaware of? That's the last one! Right. I think this could be the it! The final showdown! The water sword looks super epic. Uh, I guess technically I should open up the gate, but if you ask me, there's other stuff that is left to be done. Like, like, side quests and, uh, you know, there's some extra stuff that I have to do. And we're rolling up, like, towards the end. Granted, it's still a little ways. There's still a little bit of padding to do, so it's not right there. But at the same time, uh, I feel like I should do something. So I guess I'll cut it and we'll resume and do a thing or something. Oh, hey, remember this guy? The guy with the funny lingo? What do we got here to hear? Why, it's every the thing I needed! I'm giddy glad I asked you for help. As I promised, here's your rewardy dordy. Looking forward to working with you again again. Okay, sweet. Takes care of that. 
You have hey, another hey, one? Hey, hey, so there you are. Things may be dire around these here parts, but I've still got a jobity job for you. One of my bestie best customers asked he'd ask me if I could findy find this for him. I'm a bit preoccupied now, so could I ask you to look at look for it for me? You are so needy, and I have that. I can see that I'm an excellent handy hands. How oh, very reassuring. Might as well turn it in. Well, hello, de lo there. Did you bring it? Bring me what I asked you for? Wonder, wonderful. Thank you, Doodle Dandy. See you soon, Aloon. Oh my God, for reals? Hey, de hey, hey. Just who I was looking for. Sorry to be a bother, other, but I've got another jobity job. I just had a great idea. -ly. If I had he had some of this, I could really make something super nicey nice. Can you spare some time any time to help a merchant out? Oh my god. This is what I needy need. Thanks a bunchy bunch for doing this. Oh boy, I actually had it. You know, the nice thing is I can actually do this. What do we got here to here? Why, it's every the thing I needed. I'm giddy glad I asked you for help. As I promised, here's your rewardy dordy. Looking forward to working with you again, again. It still sucks, though. Please don't tell me there's a number five. Hey, -de hey, hey! So there you are. Things may be dire around these here parts, but I've still got a jobity job for you. This thing a ding is rare and not easily foundy found, but one of my customers tells me they'll pay any price any price for it. I'm a bit preoccupied now, so could I ask you to look at look for it for me? Oh boy, I have that. I can see that I'm an excellent handy hands. How oh, very reassuring. You know, I thought you were cool at first. Now I hate you, a lot. Practically giving you my inventory. You really came through through for me. I am truly in your daddy debt. This is your rewarded order. Go on, you Ernie earned it. Damn straight. I should I should get everything you have. I, I mean, oh my God, you're done. You're done. Only five. Okay, good. You giants have been a great big helpity help to me. Thanks to you, business is boomy booming better than ever before. Yeah, because I actually gave you some sort of stock. Jesus Christ. Anyways, so back at Figaro Castle, we had tea time woman <laughs> this is what happens to those who stand between me and my tea take this with my gratitude and fortunately unlike the other guy she only has three and it's done it's done we met all the objectives you might be thinking is that all that's left well so all the way back in Cornelia uh, it turns out that there's a mini venture I missed. Oh, if it isn't the giants. I've heard you've been putting up a grand fight against the Bahamutian army. I hope you don't mind, but I have a favor I'd like to ask you. As I'm sure you know, the goblins that once served the Bahamutian army have gone and taken up residence in the Watch Plains. We would like to observe them in their natural state, but I'm afraid they're too dangerous for us to handle ourselves. Could we ask you to defeat a few of them for us? That would help us to gather the data we need. Oh, don't worry, we won't get in your way. We can observe your battles with the goblins from a distance and collect all the data we need. So, what do you say? Will you help us? Oh, that's not too bad. I can do that one. Uh, but before I get to that, because there's another thing I have to tackle on that's kind of in between that and the results. Uh, you see... There are certain mirages that you can actually encounter out in the field that you encounter in the interventions. The Princess Goblin is one of them. Oh, so you two are friends with the Warrior of Light and Princess Sarah? You betcha. So how about a friendly fight? <laughs> I like your style. Bring it on! You might be wondering, what's so different about this and Gallywix? Because, I mean, Gallywix can turn into a Princess Goblin. Uh, there's a big difference. Huh? No way! Hey, are we up to uh, this? Also, unlike the intervention, uh, 
Princess Goblin is pretty tough. Mirages like this are pretty tough. They're they're not for your basic encounter. I mean, uh, they will straight up wreck you if you're not careful. That said, there is a reason we're here. I may as well attack. Uh, yeah, so she has pretty good defense. She's pretty high level. I'm thinking somewhere in the 60s or something around there. Maybe even 70s, uh, but I don't quite think so. Anyways, aside from using items where I clearly meant to use abilities to get some Libra action going, uh, as you may have seen, uh, Princess Goblin, this is a star version, you know, uh, it's, it's the one from the actual story, you know, you can prism it, add it to your collection, I'm gonna do that. Uh, I have to inflict blindness, there's a problem with this, she's pretty resistant to it. Also, she likes to inflict it upon us, so it, it, it can get pretty annoying if you're not careful. Anyways, so I'm going to try to inflict some blindness on her, and hopefully it works. If not, I, I don't know, but I'm going to cut it here. Uh, but to prove my point, it'll probably miss or resist. You see my point. Okay, I, I'm going to cut it. I'll be right back. Oh, second time I had to use flash, first time in prisming. Uh, I got super lucky there. That was a good fight. Almost pointless for cutting it, but I, you know what? Didn't know it was going to be that quick. I got so lucky. Now, there, the benefit to doing this is you get a shit ton of experience. Everyone levels up. Uh, no guild, though, so that's unfortunate. But uh, swoop. I can't pronounce that. The star version, yeah, basically it's the main one from the story. It's super special. It has unique stats. Uh, but I'm just cataloging it. And sadly, Princess Goblin isn't the only one. That was a lot of fun. Come back whenever you want to go another round. So long. But if you want to break the game, you can refight her over and over and keep getting those level ups. So, uh. Good, good way to become super OP super quick. I digress. Let me go do the goblin quest, then capture one more star mirage. This is great. Thanks to you, we were able to gather the data we need. Please, accept this as a reward. Oh boy! That was so worth it! And also, the undead princess is available just like the goblin princess. Hmm? Oh, hang on a sec. You must be those Mirage Keepers Milady is all BFF with. The one thing to note about her is you want to bring someone that has light abilities. Hi ho What can I do for you? What can you do for me? Ah, uh, well, you can, I can fight her or have her make a, a funny face. Oh, you want a real scare. Feel like wearing out my face muscles, and the animators didn't feel like going the extra mile, so why don't we just leave it at next time, okay? Okay, back to work. Bye! Ah, oh, that's so lame. Howdy ho! What can I do for you? Anyways, let's go for a fight. You dare challenge me? I'll teach you the meaning of fear. No hard feelings. When you're dead. So, there's that. I'm not scared of you. Watch it. This will be a tough one. She's pretty tough, but I got Spider Mikey in his Pellberry form. Uh, pretty good choice, because you see, I can attack her. And that's, that's legit. But the truth behind it is, if you lose, if you use Libra, use there, lose it. Undead Princess, obviously the star version. So we're gonna want to catch her, if nothing else, to catalog her. Uh, use a light attack. That's why I brought Spire Mikey in his King Pellberry form. Or Pellberry King, one of the two. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, we do pretty good damage, so I'm not really worried. As for everything else, I guess I'll just go to abilities. Uh, might as well use that. I don't think it's going to kill her. But it's definitely gonna make a prism tunity. Much easier than the Goblin Princess or Princess Goblin. One of the two. Seems to mix up the royal title. Oh. My round. Made you up. We got a heavy counter. It's not that big of an issue. Not a big deal. Imprisoning is gonna take a while, so cutting it until I make it 
Or this is the one. Oh my god, I did it! She took forever to imprison. Like, you have no idea. I got her down to critical. That ought to do it. Uh, which wasn't too difficult because I kept doing thousands of damage, so uh, it, it wasn't too bad, but at the same time, uh, exact opposite situation of the Princess Goblin. Or Goblin Princess, what, one of the two. Undead Princess, number er, the star version of her. Obviously different than Derp. Different abilities, different things, uh, different stats. Uh, much better. Anyways, not the point. Point is, now I can catalog her, and I'll never have to do this again. Which is very good. Leave it with Seraphie, because I don't plan on using you. If anything, I got Derp. Derp will do just fine. Oh, thank you. At last, my soul will be at rest. <laughs> Not. <laughs> I do like her little, uh, her little end dialogue there, though. That's funny. Anyways, with that, I'm going to end it off here. I pretty much have done a lot of side stuff that I can do up to this point. Uh, next time, uh, Beyond the Gate.